I've been here for the last minute and a half trying to blow a bubble, and this shit just not working out for me. So, today's a good day to be a Saints fan, because we in the playoffs. But that's besides the point. Y'all finna hear about the time I got fired. The very first time in my life. But, I was wrongfully fired. And this shit pissed me off. So, if you watching this, you James Brown looking it's your fault. Now, let me give y'all a backstory about my old manager, James Brown. She looked just like this man. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. But anyway, my manager, James Brown, she would change the schedule the same way everybody changed clothes. And then as she changed the schedule, she would post it and not let nobody know that she changed the schedule. So it's like, how you gonna change the schedule and not inform all your employees? Like, yo, the schedule was changed. I need to check your schedule again. Or give us a rundown of what the fuck our schedule was. No, she didn't do that. She just changed the shit and repost. The flip side of that is, y'all probably think it's just something. Why did she just go check your schedule every other day? The thing is with that, we couldn't go up there to the back to check our schedule in the regular clothes. Now there's another alternative that y'all probably thinking about. Why don't you just call the store? That's a good attempt, but how the fuck are you gonna call the store when they never answer the phone? All of the the options that were like that are presented as an employee at this job was declined because we had a lazy, irresponsible ass manager. The reason why I got fired wrongfully fired in my defense it was because the schedule got changed and i didn't know shit about it my sister worked the same day that i was scheduled to work apparently so my sister had to be there at four and according to my schedule which i had no knowledge of i had to be there at two three o'clock hit and she called my sister that's red flag number one why would you call the person who still has an hour left to be there and not the person who's already an hour late she called my sister to discuss my whereabouts about my schedule but didn't call my phone See how stupid that shit sound? But then all that, she's still on the phone talking to my sister about where I'm at. Asking if we're coming to work as if I don't have a phone, as if my phone doesn't work. But you could have just called the person who's already out or late. So my sister comes down and says something. Like, you ain't got to work today, right? I had no knowledge of me having to work today. She's like, yeah, you had to be there at two. I look at my phone like, bro, it's going on four. So I'm already two hours late. I bullshit you not, I got dressed, walked all the way up there just for her to look me dead in my face and say, you already two hours late. You shouldn't even have showed up. So you mean to tell me the entire time he's on the phone with my sister, which I still Still don't understand to this day why didn't you call the person who's already out late but at the same time frame you're on the phone with my sister you didn't mention to her tell her don't even show up because he's already almost two hours late but instead you like to waste people's valuable time and let them walk all the way up there just for you to look them in their face like yeah you already two hours late you should even showed up why didn't you mention that when you was on the phone in the first place james brown that's not why i was fired though she wanted up, like taking me off the schedule for a week because of that but me not knowing I had to work that Saturday. I was on the schedule for a whole week. So now that y'all caught up to why I got fired, this is what happened. I was off one day and she texted me and she was like, I need you to work nine to three. And then another message came through and she said, tell your sister that she need to come in at eight, eight to three. And I just sent back, okay. And later on, I saw both the messages and I was like, all right. The next day, I think it was a Wednesday. First of all, I was almost late because I got up at like, what, 8.25. Now I really didn't even want to go, but I agreed to work this shift. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my way up there. So, I'm walking to Burger King. By the way, the Burger King that me and my sister worked is almost a mile away from my house. So, we're walking to this Burger King. Because, I mean, it's too short to drive, but it's kind of a long walk. It's like a straight shot, so it doesn't seem like a long walk, but it is a long walk. If you really, if we really break it down, but nobody got time for that shit. So, I'm half asleep walking to Burger King. Like, I'm, I said I'm going to come in at 9, so I got to be there. I clock in. I'm on the clock for three whole minutes. It's 120 seconds. Huh? No, it's not. I was on the clock for 180 seconds. For her to do exactly what she did a week ago. Look me dead in my eyes. You're not supposed to be here. <laughs> I'm, huh? I'm what? I'm not, I'm, run it, Ray, I don't think I heard you. I'm not supposed to be what? I'm not supposed to be here. You literally texted me the other day and asked me to come in at 9 or 3. I'm here. It's 9 or 3. And now you're telling me I'm not supposed to be here. Why didn't you text me like, I don't need you to come in to work the shift no more? Why didn't you do that? But see, like, if I would have really said what was on my mind when she looked me in my face and told me that, she had all right to fire me because I was really planning on going off on her. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to just clock out go my black ass home. But as I'm walking... I'm like, bro, I'm tired of her playing with my schedule like this because she's wasting my valuable time. I could have been asleep. I could have been doing something a little more productive with my life. So you know what I did? I texted I her. I remember exactly what I said. I said, don't text me to come in no more since you love changing your mind on your employees when you want them to work. I could be doing something a little more valuable with my time. And looking stupid walking back and forth to Burger King. Simple as that. That's all I said. Now, I know there's probably some of y'all watching this like,
Okay, you didn't really have to go. But like, honestly, she got the water down first. I could have went totally left on her. She texted me, don't worry about coming back. I was supposed to come back at three. And then she told me that. I was like, okay, cool, shit, I'm off anyway. So it don't really fucking matter. But I was scheduled the following day. I was go in and she called me to her office. And she was like, I thought I told you not to come back to Burger King. You said for that day, not indefinitely. She was like, oh, that's what that meant. From her telling me that, she's only firing me because someone finally told her about it. I so. bullshit you now, I wasn't the only one who really hated her scheduling process. Like, how the fuck do you make a schedule? Change it. don't inform nobody the schedules change. And the only time you contact anybody that works for you is when you need them to work. You being me, the vocalist of all vocals, even though I can't sing, I told her about myself. Because I'm gonna just be wasting my time as if I'm your fucking slave and I gotta do what you say. No, go find another job or do something a little more productive than take these raggedy ass orders from these raggedy ass people with your raggedy ass Burger King. If y'all enjoyed that video, give this video a thumbs up. If you hate Burger King, give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, like and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media. It's linked in the description below. And as Great Mob once said, I wish driving prospered. I'm finna go walk my goldfish. Y'all say hydrate and mind your business. I can't think of nothing stupid to say like I do in all my other videos, so I'm just in this video with my favorite rapper's ad lib. It's lit! Fanny pack might have a Glock in it. Rum, rum, authentic garments. My bitch, she bad, she gorgeous. Your bitch made me nauseous. Do say you import it. My life, you can't afford this. Fuck that shit and fuck that day. Cash clay, no patty cake. Do say with the shit, yeah. Marshman never miss, yeah. Pocket rocket.